welcome back. Right, um, before I carry on, you may have noticed I've changed the volume on my intro at the beginning of the videos. Looking back at them, it kind of, it's there in your ears. If you listen on headphones, it's, it's quite, so anyway, so I've toned that down a little bit. It's not so loud now. Anyway, this next project is going to be a little bit longer than all the others. Um, yeah, because there's a lot to do with this. What I'm going to do is make a walking stick. So, just this is just pine, nothing special. What I'm going to do is barley twist this. Nice barley twist pattern all the way down. Um, I have got what I think looks like some kind of hawthorn or, or something like that, I don't know. But yeah, I might use that at some point. But anyway, it's not a full set because the dog's nicked one and run off with it. But what I thought, these are old pool balls. So I'm going to mount the, one of these on the top um, of the body twist, definitely. Oh, I don't know. Might look alright on that one. Anyway, definitely got it nice on the top of that one. So yeah, just stick with me to the end. It is going to be a bit longer than normal. But you can see the whole process from start to finish. Get to it. What's going on, my hat? Right. I swear on the good book, Tom Riddle's Diary, the next five videos I'm not going to mention subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. Well, maybe commenting. But not any other stuff. Um, but if you want to see how I made this, let me know. And I'll do a video.
just seen what happened uh, with my little sanding drum on the Dremel. This is the old style um, sanding drum and what you've got is a little screw in the end and when you screw that screw in it pushes down and it, it makes a tight seal around your little drum which is this okay that's the old one I highly recommend that you get the new click hang on speed click so what you do is you pop your drum on push down that is not going to come off like I've just had with the with this one brilliant if you can afford it and you can justify spending the money swap it all to this click stuff brilliant <laughs> done next step let it dry um, I'm quite happy with it we'll let it dry and we'll get the pool ball I'm thinking of actually I'm going to I'm thinking of Drilling that out, um, putting a print of the dragon eye out. I've got some stuff called glossy accents. Um, you put it over the top of paper, and it, it it's transparent. It's like clear crystal resin, but it's in a little pot, and you keep putting it on and keep layering it up until the eye looks like it's got a lot of depth. I think I might do that and then we'll just drill 
and whack it on the end of that. But we'll see. I've got to wait for that to dry first. So keep watching and we'll we'll finish it. So it fits, what a pain in the ass that was. Because obviously you gotta, you got to try and clamp it, which is round, um, with a square vise. And drill it. Um, it's drilled okay, but, and it fits nice. Problem I've got is, I've destroyed the top. I mean, it feels nice. I'm just wondering, um, do I sand the purple off it? Do I get the Dremel out and make some, some kind of uh, design on it? I don't know. What a pain in the arse. We'll figure it out. But it's looking quite nice at the moment. I'll get back to you. Right, the problem I've got is the well the plan was to drill this out enough to get rid of that scratch uh, and then stick a dragon's eye in there and then go over the top with the resin or the glossy accents. But what I thought is because of the, it's obviously um, a sphere the deeper I go down or actually the wider I go the deeper I've got to go down on the top and what's going to happen is you're going to have a great big ledge around the top that I've got to constantly just topping up to fill so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw some nice design on there with the Dremel, flowers, I don't know, anything, scales, scales, um, and then engrave it out with the Dremel, because I don't like that. Anyway, I'm going to take it in the kitchen, get the vacuum on the go, and just Dremel it away, and stick it on the walking stick, and hopefully she'll like it. The problem with the bottom of the walking stick is if I put a metal cap on it and the wife is on terrazzo flooring or tiles or something like she's gonna slip. So I'm gonna put a rubber stopper on the bottom. They're not very attractive. They look a bit crap actually. Um, and all the work that you put into something like this kind of lets it down but I'd rather her be safe and not end up slipping over. So yeah, it's gonna have an ugly little rubber stopper on the bottom of it. So let's go in.
there's some projects once in a while that you wish you hadn't started. This is one of them. <laughs> it turned out okay. It's okay and that's it. Um, I'm not entirely happy with it. This is not quite barley twist. I got to this point and thought, yeah, I like that. I'm just going to keep it like that. I think that looks nice. Still got to put the rubber on the bottom, but I've got to go and buy one because the one I've got is just too big for it. So I'm not even going to video that. I'm just going to whack it on there. Um, yeah. Nah. But still works, and that's all that counts. Thanks for watching. I'm going to think about the next project now and uh, try to forget this one. <laughs>